Good evening. So, we're doing open keys tonight. Such a simple, fun little mode. <clears throat> and we, we're doing comms for ourselves tonight, which is always so much fun. Plan out my first uh, Plando race. Just trying to get a, a date set for it, and I gotta think about mode and all that other fun stuff. And then I gotta decide on uh, what items I wanna place. But I don't really know anything about my opponent, so I don't know their style. Yes, good evening, Scroff. something to do anything? Nope. Figures. Well, the uncle play really didn't help us to start, but you know, sometimes you just don't get much from uncle. Yes, for the uh, the tournament stuff, we won't have, at least for the uh, Plando, we will definitely be, or likely be on no mic, because they try to restream all those, it looks like. So. You miss mime, Jesse? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I prefer, you know, talking and not being a mute. <laughs> Opinionated Jesse's okay? Oh, good to know. Bottle's not bad. Bottle and a shield, but no bombs. Okay. <laughs> I try not to. 
That's why there was quite the outburst last night in that race. No, not really. It's just the choice of me doing it. It's the exposure. You know, other people can see me. And I like that. Who sounds like a nice guy? He's big, okay. <laughs> so yeah, it's a big channel that runs the dailies. Um, that's why I post it, you know. I want to give all of you the option to watch the big side of it, you know, not just having to see me like, hey, do you want to see a race or do you want it like, do you want to see where I am and where my opponents are? So I always put the name of the channel that the restream is on because I find that to be more interesting in a sense, like. I think for Ladder, the mystery of not knowing who I'm against is cool. Um, like, I know there's 40 or so people racing tonight, but, you know, none of you know who they are. So, you know, figuring out who it is. Yeah. Um, so they put up, the way it works, um... I'm a, I'll actually shoot you a link to the VOD from last night so you can see it. Um, they put all four. Uh, I, they put So there were 27 of us um, in total, and they took the four of us as the restream. So like the other 23 people, you could have, they would have had their normal commentary or microphone set up or whatever they do normally. But if you're on the restream, you're told no special music pack and you try not to have a microphone because you know then they can use your audio but they'll put you know however many people they're doing on the restream up together um, so I was up there with um, three other people last night and there was commentary for it The commentary was okay. Um, I'm not gonna say it was terrible, but like, it. If you wanted commentary to match kind of what I do, you weren't gonna get that as much because the big thing last night was they were announcing the um, a tournament coming up called SG Live. Um, so like last night was the big announcement stream. So there was more put into like describing the rule set for SG Live than like let's go in depth, in depth, in depth on routing and who's doing what. Yeah that. Thanks, Gruff.
That was a terrible bomb, Moldorm. Luckily we got it. Ice Rod. Ice Rod's nice-ish. Cool. Look forward to seeing what you, uh... How the OBS stuff goes for you. All they do is take the game window. They don't need me or my chat or my tracker. Like, they have their own trackers because they don't trust, you know, they don't have to, you know, worry about me doing or somebody doing tracking or that I do my tracking correctly. Um, plus, nobody uses, like, the same tracker. So, really, all they just want is the game feed. Yo, Paul. Yeah, my bomb moldorm is usually or bomb bomb mini moldorm is usually much better than that. Such a waste of bombs. Okay, just blue rupee. That's the thing, like, a lot of people have some very unique character to how they do those. Um, I've watched some of the restreams, and, like, somebody, some people have, like, a, they'll show some, like, intro stuff, or, like, have a weird, like, about to get started kind of screen. But a lot of people, like, at the beginning of the race just have, you know, the start screen. Ice. Okay. Lamp. Flute. Okay. So... Both are available, Scruff. Um, I know Joe uses regular OBS. No, you have to use official sprites, Ima. So I'd have to like create one and have it uploaded to the randomizer website. Need a sprite. Funny. As I've said, like, I think I've started to use, like, Geno as kind of my night sprite for the races where I'm on restream. Um, but, you know, I haven't found that one that I'm just like, oh yeah, I want to use this sprite every time now. Ah! Ew, I'm actually Coke product type person, so I would prefer sprite.
That's the thing. If there was a Hollow Knight sprite, there's a good chance I would use it. Scruff. I mean, I know you have it. You are a very warped individual. Ha. Huh. I don't know why you would. What'd you do? <laughs> Great. Yeah, I like doing the restream every so often. I think it's a fun little thing. Um, you know, I can't enter all the dailies, but if I can enter a daily race and, you know, maybe get on a restream or two, that's cool. As I've said, the big thing is um, we're now in to the group stage of the Plando tournament. Um... So the way it works is my opponent and I will pick the mode um, for the race. So mode like in this race, I'm doing open key sanity right now. So, you know, stuff like that. Um, and then we each get to place two items. commentator gets to pick or the comm team gets to pick an item placement and like some random discord member gets to place one as well so quite the fun little experiment and then we just race to see who wins so group stages will go through uh, sometime next month I will grab 300 rupees. Um, but also starting this weekend is the um, qualifiers for SG Live. Um, 
so um, those are open boots like last night's race. I will be doing I'll take 300 groupies, why not? Hey! What's up? So, um, but yeah, there's going to be 15 qualifying races over the next couple of weeks or so. Um, we have to do five of them. Uh, top 80 from qualifiers make the tournament, or make the, the group stage. And then, um, you know, it comes down to a tournament based off of groups. I have a fairy. That's the most worthless Skullwoods, or the most worthless big key besides Swamp Palace. Sword. Bombos. Sword and Bombos. Interesting. I just realized where I really want to go. I didn't need to actually go to Sank to start. But whatever. So yeah, we'll get our five qualifiers in. I will guarantee that. Um, I don't know if we'll make top 80. Um, it's a big ask. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of uh, really good competition in it, so... But I am looking forward to trying. Along with a lot of other people. I was talking to some other racers around my skill level. And we all kind of have this idea of like, let's try. And just see whatever happens. We know where three swords are now. Crud. So, hopefully we don't have any <laughs> terrible mishaps tonight. <laughs> oh god, that was such a terrible race. <laughs> we could have done so much better last night.
Yo, Mr. Coolness. How are you this evening? Of course it is. When aren't unlocking everything achievements, the ones that are broken? Yeah, that is the understatement of the day. Oh, Mr. Coolness, that was just rough last night. Watching it back, and I was right behind first place for so long at the end there. Like, I was not far behind Etienne. And then, like, I bleed, I bled time in GT, unfortunately. Um, my GT wasn't clean, and I had bad luck and things. But, yeah. No, that hurt. Thieves and Hera. Cool. I mean, really, it's it's the the Ganon fight. I'm hoping for it to be better tonight, and I'm also hoping for um, Vitreous to go better tonight. Everything else, I'm was fairly happy with, to be honest. Um, like I thought we routed. Our routing was inspired last night, like. Amazing. Um, I thought we really, you know, gave everybody a run for their money. We put on a good show. Um, my routing was definitely very different than my opponents. Um, I think I was the last one on the restream to get hammer, which weird, but cool, I guess. Um, I went and did the Aga play super early. Knowing it was an Aga seed, I kind of just went like, okay, we're doing Aga. And I thought our progression, like, through the seed was actually very logical. Because, um, like, after we made that Death Mountain play and got bow and so much else, you know, I thought going to the dungeons I knew I could clear was the right play. Um, like, we didn't hold back from it. You know, I knew that um, Thieves, we could 
we could do, or, no, sorry, we didn't do Thieves. But like, you know, we did Hera, then we did Desert, Mire, Ice, Eastern, Pot, like, or Swamp, Ice, you know. We went to dungeons that made sense and definitely saved us some of the headache. Um, if I didn't die on Vitreus, we probably would have been in go mode a couple of minutes before Etium. Um, so. And then... If I didn't fall to Ganon twice, I might have come in first. Um... Did I grab all the chests? I don't know if I'd say evenly matched. Um, no, I did. Um, I'd honestly say that Orange, GFE, and Etium are three much higher caliber runners than I am. Um, my routing gave me a chance, to be honest. Um, I gambled that tight or I did the Titan's Mitts that early because I recognized that, like, that gave me routing advantages, possibly. pushed it too far to the left. Um, so yeah, I don't... I mean, I appreciate the kind words, Mr. Coolness. Um, I just would say, you know, in general, I find myself just be below them at this point. So. But those are, like, the three of them are definitely much more practiced, um, and you can see it in their execution. Um, that's something that comes with time, and just doing hundreds of races. And, like, you see it in the way that they move in the rooms, like, you're starting to see me move better. Okay, bumper ledge is a small key. We might have to go back for that. So, no. I was happy with how we did overall. Um... But... Tough race, you know. If I I do the dailies because it gives me the opportunity to race against those people, like I don't have that opportunity in ladder. Another pod small. Like, the... Maybe I'll try to look one up sometime and, like, show people kind of what <laughs> it takes or what, like, really good looks like. Um, so, like, we've done some uh, casual boots races this season. Um, in casual boots, like... The intro to that takes me probably, you know, a good five, five and a half minutes or more sometimes. 
depending on how bad my execution is that day. Um, no, five and a half to six minutes, probably. Um, I don't know, but, like, you can see, whoa, Titan's Mitts, awesome. Um, you can see it in, like, the really, the stellar runners, like, holy cow, do they just fly through that intro. Um, they don't bonk too much. Like, there's very, there's things that they just do, movement that is so natural to them. Um, that it's hard for me to explain, because, like... You know... How much do you watch Link to the Past? <laughs> you know, not that that's a bad thing, it's just a thing where it's like, you know, you see me race it maybe, you know, once a day, twice a day at times, and like, you can see my change, but they are just very, they're different in that, in that regard. Lots of money. But that was last night. Today, we're going for another race. We're going for a win. Because we have had some bad luck, folks. To be honest. We are two games under 500 for this season of ladder. And I know it doesn't sound like much, but I don't like being under 500 this like that. I feel like I've been getting better than that, and that stinks. <laughs> We might check out Meyer area just to see. We've got a desert small key. We've got mirror and flute and titan's mitts to at least get there. We'll find out medallion requirement. Bombos is a very good medallion to have either way. By the way, this is open keys, so the big, the the one thing that's really gonna linger for a long time is that um, Ganon's Tower big key. It's not just limited to Ganon's Tower tonight; it is everywhere. It could be anywhere. The only thing it can't be is at the top of Ganon's Tower, or in the Ganon's Tower big chest. But any of the other. 210 odd locations it could be. It's totally on Zora. Okay. Interesting. Well, I've got Scamfish money. I was kind of waiting to go to Zora until I had flippers, honestly. Um, Cause I was hoping like if I go to Quakefish, 
Um, then I would mirror over and do Zora, and then hopefully do like flipper checks. But don't have flippers yet. Slightly off, but that's fine. I'll take that. It is. I figured, you know, I knew you were going to be here, or I had a good feeling you were going to be at this race, so I was like, oh yeah, Scruff would love this one. Shovel, that's uh, that's an item. I could go get my tempered sword up on Death Mountain. But I really don't want to go for it yet, because I don't even have hookshot or boots to do, like, starts of hookshot cave. What do you got? Ganon's tower small. I really don't care. Now, I know this is slower to go this way, to walk it, but... Unfortunately, I do have the book, so checking Bombo's tablet, probably a good idea. I should also do the shovel check while we're at it. If you're dumb as shit, you probably just had a, a numpty moment. After I'm done the race, if you want to do like some test stuff, I'll be around and willing to help. Because I remember the last time we did this. That's a good find. I'm glad I did that. Yeah, it's a little uh, rough at times. Won't disagree with you. 
GT and Para. Okay. Um. So what you can do, Scra, for that is actually um. Hey, Eastern Big. I don't know how much you've experimented, so if, like, I'm saying something you already know, tell me I'm a... a shit. But, um... I use the arrows to do the bind. I use the keyboard. <laughs> um, but no, um... You can slide down the, like, the mixer panel and the scene editor and the sources. You know, and just make that bigger up top it's still small but like at least gives you some more space to work with like now that m my scenes are kind of like set for a bit I definitely make the top very small but like if I'm editing I move it to be like huge No problem. When I'm trying to center stuff, I definitely go with, um... Wow, the Meyer big key. If I just had hook shatter boots, I'd have Meyer to be able to be completed. It would suck, but we could. No, Jesse Mime is just so much fun. <laughs> if I had the bow, I'd go complete Eastern Palace and maybe dip into pod. But with two pod smalls, it's such a... It just doesn't feel like a good move yet. Thank you. 
But yeah, um, Paul, I don't know if you're still there, but my thought is, like, tomorrow I might do the All Dungeons Key Sanity at, like, 11 o'clock. But I am definitely on the noise hook shot. Um, I'm considering doing that All Dungeons Key Sanity at 11. But, you know, I'm not committed to it, so, like, go wild. I think All Dungeons Key Sanity might be one of my favorite mode this season, but, you know, I don't have to do it at this point. It's just like a... a thought. Okay, TR is Ether, but we have enough resources to actually complete Mire. So I might go complete Mire and Desert. bottle. Nice. Flippers, okay. I think finding that hook shot where we did is gonna be big though. That was a that was a gamble a bit, I'd say, and it paid off. Let's grab that Tempered Sword. And back to Mire and Desert. We'll clear Desert first. Desert's an easier clear. But yes, I must say, Scruff, like, there's something about these uh, Game Boy based MSUs. Like, I think... <laughs> I mean, we've done some good ones from other generations, but... or other consoles. But this one, from the Game Boy, Game Boy Color era, because this was actually still playable on the original Game Boy. Um, Link's Awakening... Even the Pokemon one's pretty good, um, and the Advance Wars ones, which I know are a little bit further along in gaming history, but still really good. Just something about handheld music that is just really tough to beat. Really? This game does not exist? Oh my god, what am I doing? If 
you know, let me tell me because I'm so confused. Has everything that I've been streaming a lie? Okay, Desert Prize wasn't that great, but a crystal is always appreciated. Bobbity bobbity bo. I think the only thing I don't like about this MSU is the break in the sound for so long. And that might be a very minor gripe. Pod is a pendant, but TR is a crystal, okay. So we've done the A Link to the Past metal soundtrack. Um, eh. I wasn't really sold on it. To be honest. I think a few of us were there for that one, and it was just okay. Just kind of average. Okay, the exact wrong medallion. <sighs> I had said that I was considering like using like Spotify in the background for a race sometime because I figured out how to do um There's um ways like you can have it so it is only audible on the stream and not the VOD. But Given, like, Twitch's slightly draconian, or, like, understandably so in some ways, but, like, just the fact that, like, licensed stuff, I don't want to risk it right now. Beyond what I already do, that I know is already a risk, I'm like, eh, I'll avoid it. I'll avoid issues for now. <laughs> Because I'd love to just put on like a Spotify playlist and do a race sometime. You know, I feel like that would be just very me of a thing. You know, not that I dislike video game music, it's just like... I like rock music, and I would love to just put on, like, an artist and listen to them.
Big key to TR. Wow. Lots of TR keys in this one. So even if this is my last pendant, we still found a lot here. Can I reduce the number of notifications I get from the ESPN Fantasy Football app? Because seriously, I don't need to hear about, like, my running back being out for the next four weeks or whatever. Yes, I know that one of my back... One of my running backs is is hurt. Thank you. So there's a five second delay between what I see in the stream manager and what I'm doing. Interesting. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's try not to die to Vitreous tonight. See, we know how to do this fight. I don't know, like... <sighs> That's what kills me about last night. I know that Hera, TR are crystals. Do I know any others at this point? No. So, 
So we're between a few options for that last. Wait, we've got three, so we need two more. The question is, which one's the pendant? Between Skull, Eastern, and Swamp, and Skull. If it wasn't for the fact that I really just need a little bit of knowledge, I'd probably skip the map, but I just want to know. Awesome. Okay, Swamp's a, a crystal. Okay. Not really the info I was hoping for. I would have rather that it told me it was a pendant, even though that means, like, extra work, possibly, because it's such a loaded dungeon. But it's not the worst I've ever gotten, information-wise. There is a very interesting scenario right now. We don't have a bow yet. If Eastern's a bow, we might need to find a bow in GT. That's a crappy possibility. Okay, we're gonna check the scam fish. I've been saying I wanted to do it, but luckily we were able to get flippers and have a mirror, so we did quake fish with it. Awesome blue potion. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's see, do we have the map? Eastern's a crystal. Okay, so bow is not in GT. We know there's a bow out in the rest of the normal world. Small key on Zora Ledge. We will grab it. Got scammed out of 500 bucks for a heart container. Ew. Thieves Town Small Key? Ugh. That's a rough one. Hobo, what you got? Worthless to me, Hobo. But I think we're going to make the Ice Palace play. I need Fire Rod, possibly the Swamp Small. I need a TR Small. Bow. Item-wise, bow and fire rod and ether. That's for sure. 
keys is a little bit more up in the air. Until we know whether... Oh wait, we do need the Swamp Swamp, sorry. Wait, do we know what our seven crystals are? Yeah, we know what our, our crystals are, okay. I need a bow, Swamp Small, and a TR Small, Fire Rod, and Ether. Not the worst at an hour 10, but that still leaves a lot to find. Meyer was our like starter kit for TR keys at least. I was hoping for an item in this dungeon, like something to make this trip worthwhile. Could the arrows be foretelling that I'm gonna find a bow in here? Maybe? I know, I shouldn't get my hopes up, but... You know, being hopeful is part of this game sometimes. <laughs> So the one item we can't get in here is Big Chest, so we'll be orphaning that just because we don't have the big key, but eh, easy come, easy go. I don't have Swamp Small, do I? No, I have Swamp Big, and I've only got two Pod Smalls, like why would I go to Pod right now? I don't like that, like that's such a terrible, terrible situation. Like, my goal's been to go to dungeons I can do a lot in, not, like, the bare minimum. And without a bow, that, like, severely limits my pod options. Meyer small, don't need it. their fight than last night too.
unfortunately still no. Not a great cold stare again. But we didn't die. On the plus side, I know that Pedestal's dead. At least for the big stuff. Dang it. Ether could be on pedestal. A key could be on pedestal. But like Fire Rod can. So few pod keys. There are six pod small keys in this game, and in an hour and 15 minutes, we found two. Okay, bow's nice. I think that bomb registered now that I think about it.
I mean, we don't have a lot we can still check and pod. It's just like, at this point, we're still missing. Okay, that's good. I don't want to go back up to Hera immediately, because, like, it's... kind of far. Oh my god, I got a double hit. Oy. Not like I can even check the big chest. Who cares? We'll go do Eastern and then we'll probably go do Hera. Okay, that's one item off the checklist. We said we needed a TR small. We've got three TR smalls. TR's clearable if I can get in and have the fire rod. Watch fire rod be in TR or something stupid like that. Just gonna rando, rando gonna rando. I'm hoping that bow is the only item I really needed in pod, though. And the the hair a big. Okay, I'm glad I didn't rush Eastern after getting that big key. in that room recently, unfortunately. Oh my god, Jess! The potato is strong tonight. Well, it's not Eastern. I'm just gonna go do Hera, like, I don't know. Hera gives me Pyramid Fairy as well. But once again, thanks everybody for hanging out tonight. Always appreciated to have the support.
I don't even know why I switched to Hookshot. I think it was partly just to get off the mirror, because I hate holding mirror. Like, I know I've done it in a, quite a few races where you just get, like, into a dungeon and then you hit Y to use an item and you happen to be using the mirror and you're like, oops, that was dumb. Because believe me, we've done it. A number of times. Deep in dungeons, too. Awesome. I'm glad we made this play when we did. Swamp Palace Small Key. I've got a feeling Swamp is going to be our... Oh, wait. We cleared Eastern. We've got four crystals, and we've got our fifth and sixth in line. We are really just looking for Ether and Fire Rod at this point. Dang it, Moldorm. tonight. Good God. Thanks, Paul. Three falls to Moldorm. Yeah, I earned that. Agreed. Oh shoot, we still need the GT big key. That's a fun missing item. So Fire Rod, Ether, and GT Big. So far we've full cleared desert. We full cleared our light world dungeons. Eastern Desert and Hera are fully done. Pod's got a lot left. Because we just didn't have the keys to do pod. Um, Skull, we did the front but we didn't have any way into the back without Fire Rod, so there are just two items there. Well, there's Ether. Um, Thieves, we have the big key chest, or the big chest. Um, Ice, we have the big chest still. 
Mire is fully cleared. TR, we have all of TR. And of course we have all of GT to go as well. So hopefully we find it before then, but you never know. But if I can get Fire Rod here, then we can just go right for uh, TR. I mean, even if we don't, I can go for TR at this point. Like, I have entry to um, TR. Well, that's the worst freaking small key ever. Like, you could have at least given me the Aga Tower small. Seriously. No. I don't have a cape, so I can't. Oh, shoot. Uh, I just flooded the key. I screwed up. I have to live with the consequences. Bad mistake. Like that's a that's a big no no. And really, like, the only small keys that could actually matter at this point, Paul, are, like, if what I need is in pod, then maybe. But, like, that's a remote possibility. Um, so, yeah. It's really, like, a TR small could help if, like, I have to full clear TR. Like, that's a good find. I can actually do something with that.
Um, and we will, actually. But yeah, uh, cape is required. For bumper, so no. I can't do that one. By the way, a nickname for this dungeon that people have is the Paper Cut Dungeon. Nothing hurts a lot, it just hurts you. So it's just a dungeon of a thousand paper cuts. <laughs> Skullwood, small key. I mean, we're getting down to the nitty gritty on the key front. So, like, if that if that bumper ledge key is required, it is growing in worth. Um, so, like, here's the dungeons that still have small keys out in the world. Uh, Skull has at least Skull has one. Um, Tr has one. Meyer has one, but Meyer doesn't matter. Skull doesn't matter. So it's like the Potter TR key, and I guess GT also does, but nobody wants to talk about GT keys, really, because I've got three smalls. That's more than enough. I mean, half magic's nice, but like, nothing great. An empty bottle. How, how kind. So after this, we'll do uh, Pyramid Fairy. Um, and we'll actually check the two chests in Aga Tower. I put those off just because I didn't have a key and I wanted to get both chests together. Six crystals. But yeah, there's a few outlier item locations for us right now. Um... Boots checks, like, I didn't look at Lumberjack. For all I know, you know, fire rods on Lumberjack.
Um, mushroom and powder are still out there as possibilities. Um, the other boots checks with Bonk Rocks and King's Tomb. But no boots. Bugnet and another bottle. Oh, Bugnet and a heart container. We filled up the bottle. Let's check it. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I will gladly take the fourth TR small, because it means we can actually like fully clear TR now. So that's a little nice piece to work with. Unfortunately, that was not. <laughs> Like, there's definitely some weird outliers here. We haven't found any mail upgrades. Um, very limited pod small key finds in this one. Um, which is just rare. Like, you almost never have this happen where you get only two pod smalls this late in the race. So I'm believing more and more that that one, that bumper ledge must have been a pod small. Do I care? Not necessarily. Like, the fact that we got um, a bow out of pod was great. Dang it. So we're going to do TR and hope we find it. Fire Rod and TR. Always a fun little uh, outcome. I don't think anybody likes Fire Rod and TR. Another GT small. How kind. Like, that's all the GT smalls.
Um, not really. Unfortunately, Paul, the lack of the GT Big Key is more important than GT Smalls. Um, GT Small Keys are very easy to come by in GT. Like, I don't complain about them because they're so quick to find. So, like, eh. So we're just GT Big Key away from Go Mode. Which, as you can see, there are three big keys we don't have yet. Ice, Pod, and GT. Wait, we have Skull? Yeah, we have Skull. Hmm. I'd prefer not to go back to Skull Woods, if possible. But this is open keys for you, you know? Sometimes you get something good, or... Sometimes you get devilishly terrible placement of one item or one key. Blue mail, okay. I will gladly take blue mail at this point, because good god, green mail is terrible. Yeah, Fire Rod can be. It was funny, I was watching a Plando race earlier today, um, the first Plando race of the tourney, and the one person put Fire Rod Vanilla location. It was quite hilarious because they got that Fire Rod and just went for the, the big key chest, and the comms was just like, he put vanilla fire rod. <laughs> like it was very clear to the commentators what he had done. That's right, we don't have boots. Good. Ridiculous. Not too many seeds you get to this the nearly two hour mark and don't find boots. I know, some of you are rejoicing by the lack of boots, but 
Oh boy. Just in case we die. We're gonna take safety door. That's okay. That's okay. That's why we took the safety door. Okay. Now are you going to use the safety item? I like when I don't have to worry about, you know, getting hurt anymore. Good feeling. Our seventh crystal. It is the GT Big Key in GT? That is the big question. If you think the GT Big Key is in GT, give a number between 1 and 22. If you think it's not, put a zero. Either is equally likely. There's probably just as many checks outside of GT as there are in GT. clear this basement looking for the big key. <laughs> There's that cape. Well, we're not getting red mail.
Oh my god. Number seven. <laughs> it's always when she's not here. <laughs> it really is. I don't think she's ever been here for an actual number seven, but she always guesses it. I feel bad. Because I know she'd really enjoy to get to be right. And see it. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> So the question is, where were silvers, which we didn't find? Gan's gonna tell us, like, oh, they were in Ice Palace. boots like we never found the boots By the way, we're in go mode. Cool. Dancing around those red guards. Grab the full magic up here. Because we just don't have enough. There's too many options for where those silvers are, so I'm just not even going to risk the extra time lost at this point to check all these other things. Revenge. Oh, fine. <laughs> Validated the run. Such a terrible meme.
two doubles. Oh, that was a double but counted as a single because the shots hit at the same time. Crud. And then we went with a zero. What a bump boy. Okay, Ganon fight's gonna be a little harder than last night, but let's do this the right way. Eight gold sword hits and a tempered spin is a gold sword hit. So that's what you want to get. It's twelve slashes in that in both the first two phases with tempered. So if I can avoid that, it's better. Oh, they were in GT, okay. Nice. Those were some very textbook triples. I can't complain about that tonight. But we still lost. Dang. Tough luck. We just can't seem to catch a break. find the boots. Oh, they found the boots! <laughs> Damn. small.
But yeah, we lost by just about a minute and a half. So. Either way, our losing streak continues. Oh, there was a shield on the pedestal. I hope. I hope to end the, the losing streak tomorrow. It is getting old. So yeah, races tomorrow, there's all Dungeons Key Sanity at 11, there's a 4pm open, and there's an 8pm cross keys. Um, anticipate me getting into one of those. Um, but I think as soon as these credits are done and we get those to the end, we'll probably end stream. Um, and I'm probably going to just play something else tonight for a little bit. Maybe help Scruff do some testing. I don't know if he's gonna go live for a little bit to test some time delays on his stream, but I will be there if he needs help. By the way, it'll say GT Big Key was six, but it was really seven. I might watch back the race because I want to see, you know, kind of where the time difference was. Because that, uh, that's a tough, you know what, honestly, I probably lost a minute and a half with the swamp mistake. So, flooding the, the basement, flooding that key probably sunk me. Um, that's a that's probably at least a minute and a half lost. You know, we don't do that. Different story. Self-inflicted. And Moldorm. Yep. Three Moldorm falls. That's at least a, probably another minute and a half, two minutes, three minutes lost. So. Yep. Like, this should have been a, a sub two. With the, the item placement. Even without me knowing how to do the certain tricks. Like, I don't know how to do Harapot or Pod Bomb Jump. I still should have been sub two in this seed if we didn't make those mistakes. So, it happens. Um, but thanks everybody for watching today. It was nice to have a consistent viewership as always. Um, in these evening races, I realize, you know, the gang can't all be here because of the hour, but I like my night crew. Always very appreciative of this night crew. Um, so everybody have a great night. Um, as I said, we'll probably be back tomorrow with another race. Um, and we'll see what happens. You know, we're three games under 500 now. But thanks again. Have a good night. Goodbye.